Jake, man. What do you want to do tonight? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. Hi, this is Greg Kuhn. Today I'm reading from my popular book, Why Quantum Physicists Create More Abundance. This is Chapter 4, More Bizarre Science from the Second Scientific Revolution. The law of attraction can be explained using science. While it is not important for you to become a physicist, the more confidence you have in the science of the law of attraction, the better you'll be at creating deliberately. You'll get more of what you desire. You now know that all matter is simply vibrating energy. You know that your expectations of that vibrating energy manifests its form. You know that your thoughts are things. They are vibrating energy too, and some of the most powerful vibrations in the universe. And you know that like energy vibrations are attracted to more powerful like energy vibrations. But allow me to illustrate just how simple it can be to change your material reality. Did you know that all matter is completely insubstantial? The vibrating electromagnetic energy we call matter is literally as insubstantial as smoke. You can't even touch it actually. And once you understand just how insubstantial matter really is, you'll find that creating your own reality is not as difficult a leap as it once seemed. You know that everything in the universe is made of atoms. Even the air you're breathing is made of atoms. So to see how insubstantial matter is, let's blow an atom up to the size of a huge cathedral. Almost the entire mass of an atom is contained in its nucleus. And in our cathedral metaphor, the nucleus of an atom is the size of a fruit fly in the middle of that huge cathedral. 99.9% .9 of the touchable physical matter of an atom is the size of a fruit fly buzzing around in a giant cathedral. The rest of the atom is just empty space. That's right, 99% of an atom is empty space. This, of course, means that 99% of you is empty space. 99% of your table is empty space. 99% of your cat is empty space. I think you get the idea. Any material object in the universe is 99% empty space. Think of a big cloud of cigar smoke blown out of the smoker's mouth, and you've got an idea of what you and every material object in the universe really are. In fact, matter is so insubstantial that you can't actually touch anything because there's literally nothing there to touch. And even, even if there was anything to be touched, your hand couldn't touch it anyway because your hand is 99% empty space too. In fact, if someone picked your body apart atom by atom with the world's finest tweezers, all that would be produced would be a small mound of atomic dust you could blow away with a single breath. Naturally, you ask, then why does it feel like I am touching things? You experience touch because the magnetic forces of atoms repel each other when they come in direct contact. What feels like touch is actually the sensation of electromagnetic repulsion as you come within one angstrom. That's one one hundred millionth of a centimeter of the atoms making up the other material object. Have you ever had anyone tell you that you're repulsive? Now you can say, of course I am. Without that magnetic repulsion, you'd float right through every material object in the universe, just like a ghost. You're not actually sitting in your chair. You're floating one one hundred millionth of a centimeter above the atoms that make up your chair. And you're not actually touching your Kindle or your iPad. Your hand is coming within one ten billionth of a meter from the atoms that make up that mouse in your hand. But atoms get even stranger. You remember the drawings of atoms from your high school science book? They look like mini universes, right? The hard shell of the nucleus surrounded by the orbiting electrons circling, circling the nucleus in perfect ellipses. In reality, that image couldn't be further from the truth. 
because the electrons outside the atom's nucleus pop in and out of existence all the time. Talk about strange. In the atom's world, an electron can not only jump from one orbit to another instantly without actually traversing the distance from one location to another, but it can also appear from nowhere and then disappear again. Physicists believe the electron is actually in another dimension, but they know for certain that at times it isn't there any longer. So if we could actually see it, an atom would look more like a tennis ball shaped fog. The fog would represent an area of probability because electrons could appear anywhere in that fog at any time. The notion that physical objects are substantial pre-existing things is actually a very effective illusion. The quantum field is a swirling, smoky, insubstantial mass of an infinitesimal number of atoms. The physical objects you create are still smoky, insubstantial things, just like the quantum field from which they are brought forth. And since you're commanding which objects will be created from the quantum field, you constantly put the law of attraction into action, scientifically speaking.